All right, and welcome folks. This is all you need to know about filament plastics. So let's talk about plastic. Today we're taking a look at the different types of plastic available as filament and going over some of the properties and uses as well as discussing any downsides. So let's get right into it. This is everything you need to know about filament on the Technivorous channel. PLA. Let's start with the most commonly used plastic these days among 3D printing hobbyists. That's right, it's PLA. PLA stands for polylactic acid and it's a fairly strong material with low flexibility. While it's great for lots of applications, it's important to note that PLA can be damaged by both prolonged sunlight and sustained contact with water. While PLA is not the most durable plastic on this list, it is fairly tough and can be made stronger by a process known as annealing. Over the past few years, this polymer has overtaken ABS as the dominant choice for hobby printing for several reasons. PLA is very forgiving to work with and easy to print. It uses relatively low temperatures and doesn't even require a heated bed or enclosure, making it a go-to starter plastic. PLA is usually printed between 180 and 220 degrees C, although some brands and polymer blends require slightly higher temperatures. A heated bed can help with model adhesion when using PLA, but it's not strictly needed. PLA is capable of printing on a non-heated bed just fine. And shrinking and warpage with this material is minimal, allowing for it to be used in popular open frame style printers made for the desktop use, like the popular Ender 3 series. ABS. ABS stands for Acrylonitrile Butadiene Styrene. Now that's a mouthful. While ABS is arguably the second most popular polymer, I would say at the time of ABS is past. And items further down the list will soon surpass it. Let me tell you why. ABS became popular because it was strong, but it's notoriously fickle to work with. It's prone to shrinkage and warping, and almost always requires an enclosure for your printer to achieve good quality results. Although, the temperature variance issue that causes warping can be somewhat mitigated by the use of Cura's draft shield option or something similar. While it can take a little effort, don't give up because prints made with ABS are extremely strong and durable. You know just how tough this filament can be if you've ever stepped on a Lego. ABS prints best between 210 and 260 degrees C, usually near the higher end, and a heated bed is required. Enclosure is also highly recommended. Another upside to ABS is the fact that it's soluble in certain solutions, which means it can be chemical, chemically welded together to make seamless objects. The next filament on our list is PETG or PETG. You will most commonly hear of this referred to as PETG, but PET and PETT are two similar polymers with similar properties. PETG is the most common and is simply PET with glycol added. PETs are usually translucent and for that reason are the standard for plastic bottles and other similar packaging. And it's similar to ABS in strength and durability, but slightly more flexible than PLA. However, while PETG prints at similar high temperatures to those used by ABS, it does not have the same trouble with warping and separating. Optimal temps for PETG range from 225 to 260 C, with a heated bed around 60 to 70 degrees to help with adhesion. It doesn't necessarily require a draft shield or enclosure, and it is, in my opinion, one of the most beautiful and fun filaments to print. Quick note about PETG for the avid user. Hang on to your desiccant packages as PETG is hygroscopic, so it absorbs moisture from the air. For this reason, I recommend you keep it in a dry box once opened if you plan to store it for a long period of time. The next items on our list are the flexi filaments. That's TPU, TPC, and TPE. Now TPEs are thermoplastic, excuse me, thermoplastic elastomers, meaning they're flexible plastics. While not the strongest filaments, flex filaments are just that, highly flexible. Because of their wiggly, wobbly nature, they're usually printed best in a direct drive setup, but it can be done over a Bowden tube if you slow it way down. TPU doesn't require extreme temperatures and prints well around 210 to 230 C. As with PLA, a heated bed can help, but is not needed. Generally, TPU is printed at much slower speeds than other polymers on this list to prevent the stretchy filament from winding around extruder gears. There are a ton of cool uses for this stuff from cosplay to footwear and much, much more. And TPU doesn't shrink or warp very much when printed, so you don't really need an enclosure. Of the three polymers I mentioned, TPU is by far the most common as it has a higher resistance to UV exposure and heat. 
And that pretty much covers the four basic filament types. But wait, let's talk about some exotic filaments too. How about nylon? Now, nylon is a very commonly used uh, material in powder fusion method 3D printing, but did you know you can get it in filament form as well? Parts printed from nylon are super strong, flexible, and durable. That's about as good as it gets. Requires fairly high temperatures from 240 to 260 C and a bed between 70 to 100 C, so it's just in the range of the high end of the Ender 3 and its clones. It does, however, shrink and warp, so if your printer's not enclosed, you better turn that draft shield back on, and it's also hygroscopic, so keep it dry. Due to its high strength and durability, nylon is great for things like tools and functional mechanical parts. Okay, so what is PC? PC stands for polycarbonate, and while it may be the strongest on this list, you may want to hear me out before ordering a spool. PC is, well, it's amazing. Its transparent nature and extreme durability make it ideal for things like display screens and can even be made into bulletproof glass. The only drawback for the hobby printer here is the high temperature required for your hot end is 270 to 310C, meaning the minimum temperature to print this stuff is out of the range of most stock printers. You can, in some cases, upgrade to a higher temperature hot end, but it may not be as straightforward as it sounds. This filament also warps easily, so you'll need an enclosure for sure, and this is another filament you'll want to store in your dry box when not in use, as it is hygroscopic as well, and will absorb moisture from the air. Now, the remaining filaments on this list I will touch on briefly, and you can look into them more yourselves. There is something called cleaning filament. Cleaning filament? Oh yes. While not intended to actually print objects, it can be printed at similar temperatures to the previously used filament to clean out the hot end. Glow in the dark? Yep, that's what I said. There is glow-in-the-dark filament. Now, glow-in-the-dark is notoriously known to be some of the most abrasive filament out there, and using it regularly will cause you to change your nozzle out regularly. It does wear it down. Other than that, it is a pretty cool thing to play with, and you can get it in different glowing colors, such as pink, green, yellow, and blue, and they are all pretty cool. There is also, on the note of cool colored filaments, thermochromic filaments. Now, thermo means temperature, and chromic means color. So, this stuff changes color with temperature. It's basically one color when it's hot coming out of the machine, and another temperature when it cools, and then it can be submerged in either ice or hot water to change the color. Uh, there's biodegradable filament. Now, you may hear a lot of people say that most PLA is biodegradable under the right conditions, but there are plastics made to be naturally biodegradable as well, and seeing as how this is an industry that consumes a lot of plastic and plastic waste, while it's nice that we can recycle that waste into other prints by grinding it down and using it again, it is nice to see a reduction in that waste as well. They have several different kinds of filled filaments. You may have seen everything from wood filled to metal filled, but there is also glass filled, carbon fiber filled, and even beer and hemp infused filaments. They have conductive filament. This stuff is great for multi-extruder machines, allowing you to print working circuits all in one go. The filament is conductive of electricity, allowing for the printing of things like switches, buttons, and things of that nature, which is pretty cool. And I'm interested to see where this goes over the next few years because I think it's going to be pretty big hype. Uh, ASA is a very similar filament to ABS, except it doesn't degrade or yellow outside. So if you're looking at printing something with ABS strength and don't mind the ABS trouble, uh, grab yourself some ASA and you'll be able to put that object outside without any degrading of the object itself. Uh, one of the things I didn't touch on is soluble material, and that is generally used in a dual extruder machine to print the support for the object because the part can then be placed in a bath of the appropriate solution to dissolve away the support with no clipping or trimming. So uh, you see this in work on the screen right now. This process is really amazing and saves a lot of cleanup work as well as reducing the amount of sanding and stuff required because there's really no interface between the two plastics. The, the soluble completely dissolves away and you may just have a, a little zit or bump or two uh, in the other filament that you need to clean. But in most cases, it is a really, really clean process. So, <sighs> all right, I gotta catch my breath. Wow, that's a lot of options, but it's not all. 
There are tons of other filaments, and innovators in our field are constantly striving to bring new and interesting products to market. So, keep your eyes sharp for whatever's new. It could be the next PLA. Do you know any filaments you think warrant a mention that I may have missed? Leave them in the comments. If not, go ahead and tell me what your favorite is and why. This has been everything you need to know about 3D printing filament. Subscribe and hit the bell for more, and leave a like. Technivorous out.